everybody, this is Praxis. Last night, uh, I was pretty elated. Uh, everything was in place for doing the rest of the foundation walls and everything, and let everybody know. Uh, ordered the delivery of our wood, and, uh, and told the concrete person that, you know, they're all good to go. They swung by yesterday, like after I'd sent them that message, because they, they, they're right here in town, and they got back to me and said, well, wait, uh, there were some other things that were supposed to be finished. Uh, these are things that they had discussed directly with the uh, site work person. Uh, I was out of that loop. I guess they had initially wanted a certain amount of work done, uh, which is what we accomplished, just the, the front perimeter drain, and then uh, you know they put their stuff up. Uh, but sometimes, uh, sometime between them telling me that and when they talked to the land, uh, you know, earth moving person, they kind of changed their thinking on what they needed done to be the entire perimeter drain and filling up this entire area here with gravel. Um, and I was out of the loop on that. So I'm scrambling a little this morning to try to get everybody on board because the people working here on site uh, weren't told that by the, uh, the person that owns the company that was doing the landscaping. So the message never got to any of the people that actually mattered that are actually doing the work. So uh, we're kind of scrambling this morning trying to get all that stuff together. And one of the things that I'm doing, which I was gonna do anyway, is installing the um, under slab air vent for the wood stove. I've got it all laid out here in place. It goes through the back wall behind you. Here's the 45 degree angle where it comes up. Uh, or bends and then it comes up back over here. I've got stakes in the ground to hold it in place um, because I'm about to uh, glue these two sections together and when I'm kind of pushing them around and everything I don't want them moving around. So I've got a stake here and a couple stakes there to just keep everything all lined up. The steps that I have to do here is I'm going to do some more spray foam on the inside area here. I've got a bunch of these, these scraps that I uh, cut from having this pass through over there uh, and I'm going to kind of stick all these around, use spray foam to fill up the rest of the void, uh, and then I'm going to use this uh, pipe cement uh, to, to join these two inner pipes together. And the procedure will be fill it up with foam, put on the pipe cement, join the two pipes, slide them together. There'll be a little bit of a gap left here because this outer blue sleeve can slide a little bit further. I've got this, this inner white area extended out a little bit. Uh, they'll, so the, the two white pipes will get uh, joined together with the cement. That'll leave a little bit of a gap. I'll put a little bit of extra spray foam in, slide the rest on there, and then I should be good. I'm going to use duct tape to seal up the joint just to keep you know rainwater and sand and grit or whatever from getting in there. And I've got some copper flashing that I'm going to uh, use to make a little brace that'll just kind of hold the thing together for a little bit more rigidity. So that's the procedure for today, doing this stuff. Uh, and I it looks like I may have to move that entire pile of cinder blocks that was placed in the wrong in the wrong position. It just, you know, it's, it's a problem. I called Home Depot again and they're just not getting back to me. Every time I call Home Depot, they say, we'll get right back to you. They never do. Uh, I, I'm thinking I, I'm maybe just going to have to move that whole thing by hand because people need access to that area. And, you know, it may not be your fault it, that, you know, something went wrong, but, you know, you may be the only person that can solve it. And it seems like the wonderful people at Home Depot, as polite as they have been on the phone, they've always been polite, um, seem to be incapable of getting that pile put where I'd originally asked them to place it. So I may have to do that myself later on today. That's it. Thanks for watching.